Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a reaction to the Flyers losing a tough one. Going to keep this about 250 to three minutes, being it's obviously the next night. But they lost a tough one yesterday because the refs missed an Aaron Ekblad penalty. Obviously, they got destroyed in the overtime, 7-0 to zero in shots. They lost by a touchdown in the shot total, so they didn't deserve to win in the overtime. Don't get me wrong. But the play they lost on, that initially, while being out with my friends at a bar and glancing up at it, I went, oh, that was bad defense by the team. They didn't guard him in the slot. It really wasn't because Morgan, or not Morgan Frost, Joel Fairby got his stick slashed out of his hand and couldn't do anything about, about that. And then they had a wide open play in front of the net. So that was just bad refing. So much that Tim Peel, who was a former ref for like the 85th time this year, as now a, a rules analyst, uh, has tweeted out how he disagrees with a call on Twitter against his former colleague. Um, so that just wasn't a good play. Obviously, the Flyers did not limit like was a key to coming into the game. I also talked about it in my game preview, but did not limit the Panthers enough. In the second period, I think Jason Martinez and Brian Smith were a little generous with how well the Flyers played. If you listen to the uh, radio intermission there. Because, like, they were talking about how well of a second compared to others it was. It was a better second compared to other second periods. But if we look at it, the, the time of possession numbers uh, were definitely in favor of the Florida Panthers in that second period. The Flyers just did a better job at keeping their team to the outside and having Marty Jones have to make saves on shots that he could really read well. Unlike, obviously, <clears throat> the Sam Bennett goal, which was a power play goal that nobody was stopping. A nice play that he was able to get on a wrist shot or a nice assist from Duclair and Aaron Beckblad, who then had ended up having a goal and an assist in this game. So that play, Morton Jones couldn't do anything on, but he was electric last night, making the stick save, making 44 save, the second best in his entire career. He's been great for the Flyers this year, so he stepped up yet again. The big thing with this game, there was a lot of good things that happened in this loss, which was at least keeping them to the outside in the second, but it still wasn't a peachy keen second period. It was just better after the first 10 minutes that we started getting a little bit more chances and kind of like the opposite of the first that wasn't so good in the first seven minutes. And then all of a sudden, after Farabee was able to get off the snide, which is one of the key success things going forward, maybe he can get going now. Everything got going in the sec or in the first period. And then in the second period for the Flyers, it wasn't a very great start to the period. The time of possession almost was in favor of Florida. Then they got better in the second half. They kept them to the outside most of the period. So it was a better second than the entire season. But you still need to improve in a second period as far as I'm concerned. And then in the third period, our Flyers got outshot by two shots. But it was still back and forth. Just a lot of chances. Florida got a little bit too many for my comfort in this entire game. A-plus scoring chances. But Martin Jones was there to step up for it, and you don't want to get into a shooting race with a team like the Florida Panthers, and the Flyers kind of got into one too many times as we're wrapping up this video, so my keys obviously going forward would be just tighten it up a little bit overall, you can't be getting into shooting races with the best cup contenders in the league, that's not going to end up working out with high potent, high fast mm -hmm. offenses like the Tampa Bay Lightning or the Florida Panthers, and then also... Obviously, the offense, 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 offense. You got to get the offense going. Joel Fairby got going. He got off the snide. Zach McEwen had a wonderful hit on former flyer Racco Gudis. He's been amazing. And also, obviously, G's look good. I thought yesterday <clears throat> Cam Atkinson played well and had a lot of chances. He just wasn't able to get a goal just because you don't get on the scoreboard. Obviously, it doesn't mean he didn't play a good game. But they have to find a way to get the goal output going as this video went a little bit Longer than I wanted, but the Flyers lost an unfortunate game because of a bad call at the end. They got beat in overtime 7 to nothing, so they didn't deserve to win in overtime, don't get me wrong. But Martin Jones is definitely a star of this game. Uh, when it comes to the Florida Panthers, obviously Sam Bennett, <clears throat> we would probably potentially give a star of this game to. And then also you would give a star of this game, I think you have to do both goalies, uh, Sergei Bobrovsky, where normally I would give it to Aaron Ekblad who had the game-winning goal, but he shouldn't have had the game-winning goal because that was atrocious officiating yet again. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric. A quick reaction to an unfortunate loss that the Flyers had, that there was some good from it, and then also still some things that we obviously need to see improve. Peace out, everybody, and have a great day.